Hello people, this is Keith the Modesto doing my Let's Play Minecraft series using Feed the Beast and Direwolf 20's mod pack. And uh, today we are going to build a blast furnace so that we can make steel. We need steel to make a, um, a boiler because we want to build a fire. We, uh, I want to I burn um, the uh, liquid, the biofuel that we're making right now. And for that we need a liquid fueled firebox and that that recipe requires steel because we need to use a steel plate and that requires steel and you build and you excuse me and you make steel in a blast furnace so that's what we're going to do today is make a blast furnace and so the ingredients we need we need some uh, soul sand I believe we need 36 so I'll just grab a stack and then we need uh, nether brick and uh, this is another thing uh, we I have not made before but I just looked uh, actually I think I watched a video about it yesterday so I would know what to do okay so and then we need magma cream we need nine of these so we are going to grab nine of those okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and we're going to get a look up a blast furnace brick, right? And there are two different recipes. We're going to use this recipe right there. When either recipe, you end up using the same um, resources because to make these infernal bricks just requires soul sand and and uh, nether brick. Anyway, so you end up using the same stuff, but we're just going to go ahead and use this one. And so we're just going to plop the stuff we need in there. There we go. And that should be enough. Okay, so actually, you know what? This should. Um, I don't need to have that on me, do I? No. Um, we're probably going to be able to do something else besides make this boss first. I don't think this is going to take that long. Okay, so I think we're going to put it right here. If we don't run into a problem. Anyway, so let's just grab a clear out an area. Oh. Anyway, so it's three by three and then four four tall. Oh, let's see, and um, Darwolf had his last episode of his current uh, season, uh, episode 100. Pretty dramatic ending. Pretty, it was pretty cool. And uh, it didn't have a, he didn't end with a tour or everything he's done, and I haven't, I haven't looked to see if anyone's attached, like, try, try to attach their own videos, video responses of, like, tours of their, of what they've done with his world. And I don't know if it would, that would really fit anyway, but... So, I guess it'll be time to wrap this episode up. I mean, this uh, Let's Play thing up pretty soon. But I think I'm going to go on for at least a little while. Because there's a lot of things I was planning on doing that I haven't done yet. And then, uh, let's see, so then you put these last two in here. And then, wow, actually I, I had extra. Huh. Huh. Um, so there's the interface. So... Uh, so, and then I'm going to decide what to do, you know, what direction to go next with Minecraft. I think I want to try at least to do another season, a Let's Play, but I don't know if I want to use Direwolf's... <clears throat> I don't know if I want to use Direwolf 20's mod pack again, or if I want to try something else. And I understand it's been updated. Actually, I think it's been updated a couple of times, and I haven't... I haven't updated it myself. I think there's a newer version. And, of course, his next... He already started his the end of his last episode 100 he ends up in a new world and you can tell it's a newer version of Minecraft 1.6 I guess which means his mod packs changing in any case so I'll probably have to try what it's tried out a little bit to see what I think or you know decide if I want to try something else I don't know I don't I just don't know I might I might do another do a a, a, a run through another game just as a break and then come back 
and see at what point Minecraft is at, you know? Because, like, for instance, Red Power, Red Power 2, I don't think it's been updated yet for 1.6. And that would be uh, a shame not to have that to use. But anyway, so we need some coal, coal, coal. We will grab a stack of that, and then we need some iron. Oops, kind of spell. Whoops, do not do that to me. No, I guess you do this. There we go, all right. Um, okay, we need a stack of iron. That happens because, that just happened because I have a new mouse and it's touchy. Touchy, well, it's not a new mouse. It's a mouse I hadn't been using though. Okay, so we just put our, our uh, you can either use cold coke or charcoal that goes on the bottom and the steel goes on the top and that is going to make I mean you, you put the iron at the top and that is going to make steel goes right there but it's going to take a while we will get rid of this put that back alright so we have 21 minutes that, that, not did, that didn't take very long now sleep to the night here. Um, we're going to need quite a bit of steel to make the boiler and I hadn't actually looked to decide what I wanted to do for the rest of this episode. Maybe we can start building the boiler. Let's see what else do I need. And I believe this is from Railcraft. Okay so we have a low we have low pressure boiler and high pressure boiler and the difference is that I think the low well of course the pressure of the steam that you that it ends up creating is either low or high the higher the higher pressure m means you can um, run more machinery off of it more steam engines and and I think once you get things going the high pressure boiler is more fuel efficient Anyway, so the low pressure one uses iron plates, and the low higher pressure one uses steel plates, which means more steel. Now we have plenty of iron and plenty of coal coke, and of course you can also use charcoal to make the steel if you don't have coal coke, and I have lots of charcoal too. So it's really just a matter of time. You know, I could make another one of these. I could make another blast furnace. That way I would make the steel more quickly. That's an idea. Let's see. So I'll, um, I need 34, so I need uh, two. Well, anyway, so let's see. I still have, I only have four nether bricks, so let's grab this and put this in a compressor. Because, is this the compressor? Yes, that compresses into nether brick, I believe. And then let's grab, we still have, we have lots of soul sand, I know, we have plenty of soul sand, and we still have magma cream. Um, magma cream. Oh, we need another magma cream. So, let's see, if we have slime. Uh, and then, ice powder. I guess if we grab four of these, one, two, three, four, and grab these, and we go here, I think you get two blaze powder for each one of these, whoops, I guess I can do that, okay, so if we go 16 and 16, that should give us 16, that's really more than we needed, huh, I just made extra, okay, let's see how many, oh, wait, I still had, I had some nether brick in here, didn't I, and I didn't grab it, four, Okay, so let's see if we got, we probably don't have enough of these yet, do we? No. Um, let me go ahead and put the recipe in here. Um, plus first brick. Okay, so we'll just throw these things in here, and we just need nine of these. One, two, three. Okay, so these things away. Let's see how many more of these we get. We got that. Well, no, that's probably not enough. Yeah, we 
got a ways to go. Okay, so maybe in the meantime, I will show you. Every once in a while, I come out here and get attacked by a spider. No, okay. I come out here and I grab some <coughs> resin <coughs> for making rubber. I don't have an automatic way of doing this yet. I probably should make one, but I don't know. I don't know if I really want to bother because I don't know how much longer I'm gonna I'm gonna do this series before I wrap it up. I'm let's see the things I'm happy about that I've made. Let's see, I'm happy about the Zuggerat and the the um, the um, and the Thumbcraft room on top of it. I'm not too happy about my house. I like the first floor fine. The second is okay. I'm not really happy about the third floor. It kind of looks interesting, but I'm not happy about the third floor. I don't know if I want to take the time to redo it. I think the next season I do, I want to concentrate on more on building buildings like that. I mean, not like that's the only thing I would do, but I want to really try to make some, you know, like a cool complex or something. You know, like, it might be kind of cool to like model the Forbidden City uh, from China some version of a forbidden city um, I enjoyed exploring the uh, Twilight Forest and I could do a little more of that I mean there's some bosses there I haven't fought yet uh, I haven't really made a secret base See what else? What else do I want to do? I want to build this boiler to see what that's like. The this steam boiler from Railcraft, and I want to. I think I want to try at least once moving uh, a a, uh, a node. I'm almost ready to do that. The Thumbcraft node. I've been building one particular node um, to a larger size. Um, it's over a thousand Vs now. Um, well, its max sizes. It was trying. It had to. Uh, it had to recover. It probably is recovered by now, because when you when you plant more, whenever you plant a new silverwood tree, it uses up a little vis in the area. So if you're, you know, and you can build one node bigger by planting vis trees next to it. Uh, excuse me, by planting uh, silverwood trees next to it, and uh, the nodes combine. So whenever you do that, the max size of the node gets a little bit bigger, but the actual current size gets a little smaller because it uh, had to use some of the um, these to do that. So it has to like regenerate. So its max size is over a thousand. I haven't looked, but it it was almost half that in its current size. So I'm just waiting for that to recover and then try to move it. So I gotta do that. Um, I, and I, have, I, I should make a mob spawner for all the soul shards that I have that I haven't made mob spawners for yet, including the blazes because I wanna use blaze rods to, um, let's see, this goes right in here into the extractor. Okay, so we're getting a little bit more rubber. Uh, I need more rubber to make more solar panels. Okay, oh. Um, Let's see if this is, uh, you know, this might not be enough. Oh, those in there. Oh. Uh, so I need more. More of these. Maybe I should just go to the nether and get some more. Let's go ahead and do that. To the nether, to the nether. Let's see, I got plenty of juice in my back. In my uh, power suit for flying around. Okay, so nether fortress. Go here because instead of, um, instead of compressing, uh, instead of compressing the brick, we can just mine it. Mine, mine this stuff. Okay, so let's do it right here. Right here. We're just gonna go down. Let's 
turn my light, my uh, night vision on. I'm just gonna go down until we hit the bottom. I can still fly, can I? Yeah. I don't think we're gonna hit lava because this is sitting on the ground. There we go. And then we're gonna go up. Actually, this is more than enough. This is good. Let's turn my night vision off. Turn this off. Okay. Um, flying too far. Whoops. Don't fall. Okay. Let's go back. Uh, home base. All right. Let's throw this in and see what we get. More than enough. Thank you very much. Let's grab this and throw this in here. Okay, so now let's see. I guess we probably can't put it right next to it, can we? But we got room right here. I might want to move that pattern encoder. Who knows? Okay, so we're gonna go. Just gonna go three back, four up, three across. The other game I'm thinking of playing is, um, I think it's called Limbo, which is a game that's been out for a while. I played a, I played a demo of it, so just like the first, just the very beginning of the first level. It on Xbox though, but there, now there's a version. I don't know, a couple months ago, a version of it came out for, um, for the Mac, so I could get that and and record it with screen. Screencast. If I were to try to record it on my Xbox, I'd have to get the equipment to do that, and I don't have that equipment. Anyway, there we go. So we gotta get some more iron and coal, coal, and we can make some more steel, iron, one stack, and coke, one stack. There we go. Let's see how much steel we got so far. Eleven. See. Pretty slow. Pretty slow. Okay. So let's see. We have 10 minutes to go if I want to do a whole episode. I could just wrap it up right here. Because you see what we're going to have to do is I'm just going to have to let it make steel. And that's going to take a while before I can really do anything. You know, because, I don't know, why not? Why not go for a high pressure boiler? Why not? Um, and I could, of course, while that is going on, I could make a bl I can make a, a spawner for blazes, a, um, a mob farm for blazes to get the blaze rods because that's what I want. I want to have both a liquid. Um, I want to have two boilers, one that uses liquid fuel and one that uses solid fuel. And the liquid, the liquid fuel is going to be the the biofuel. Let's see how much I have. Eighty-nine, uh, eighty-nine thousand. No, eighty-nine buckets. Yeah, eighty-nine buckets. Long ways to go. Anyway, and the other one I want to use blaze rods. Uh, so I need to make another spawner. And I don't know if I really. I mean, another mob farm. Is there room right here? I guess I can make it right here, or I could go down a level. Um, here. I could go down here. Is there any open area down here? I haven't made any open area. Which means using the filler, probably. I want, want to make sure that this um, spawner is within the area that is l being loaded by my um, by my chunk loader here. I show the lasers. You can see I was, I, um, excuse me, I want to go back in. When I located this tank, I had those lasers on, so I could make sure that this tank was within the within within the boundaries. All right. So if I go over here, I can see that that area out there is not loaded. At least, I mean, when I'm not here, it's loaded right now, of course. Um, 
So it looks like there is room right here to build another to build another uh, mob spawner. How far down can I go? Oh, it's up really. Okay. Oh, I haven't I haven't looked at the design for a uh, in a while for a a blaze mob farm. It looks, you know, I think that this design right here would work. Apparently the blazes are hurt by water, but they also can get pushed into the turtles. Maybe? I will look this up. We don't, there's not enough time to actually build a, um, a, um, this spawner right now. But I, I'm just gonna get started here. Yeah, I think I probably could just wrap this episode right now. Up, wrap this episode up right now. I'm gonna clear an area here, um, and kind of like get everything all set up. And then in the next episode, I will, I will like um, get a mob spawner already. Hmm, I wonder if I want to try a different design. Not this one. I don't. That would not work with the blazes. I don't think. I think it pretty much has to be something like this. I could use more than two turtles, you know, and not and not and not monkey around with the channel here, you know. Hmm. Well, anyway, I got to think about that. Anyway, so we're gonna wrap it up right here. This is a wrap, people. This has been Keith the Modesto. I built two blast furnaces, and I'm now cooking up steel so we can make a boiler, two boilers eventually and use those to generate power they're going to generate steam the steam will you be directed to steam engines that will generate power all right so thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day